Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a Dreams Gadget Tutorial. We're doing movers and outputs. We've got to the last book one. This is the number displayer. Now, this is a really important gadget, and you're going to find yourself using this an awful lot. It is very important. And what it does on a basic level is it displays numbers in the same way as a text displayer displays text. So um, if I highlight that, you have a number and you can pick it up with the R2 button and you can move it around the screen and display it where you want to. You can make it bigger with the D-pad, make it smaller. Um, and there are various settings within that you can change the text box, the border color, the position on the screen. Um, and it's exactly the same as the text gadget. So if you haven't, if you're not familiar with the text gadget, or you haven't seen the text gadget tutorial, I suggest you go and look at that one first, because I'm not going to go into these pages at all, because they are pretty much identical to the text gadget. The only difference um, is on this page. This is the page where you can put it in scene and you have the sort order, but you'll notice there is no animation option. You can't animate a number. So even if you've got a number with lots of digits, it won't type it out like a text um, typewriter uh, animation. Uh, if you want a number to do that, you're going to have to type the number into a text box. And then, of course, it is a fixed thing. It's not a dynamic thing. So this is really and truly designed to create a dynamic display of a number. Um, the numbers can be changing all the time and it will display whatever number is necessary. So this is used for scores counts, timers, that sort of thing. Um, the last page only has uh, one uh, option. So there's no text animation options because we don't have that anymore. Uh, this is just a Boolean one or zero signal to say whether or not it's displaying a number. So that's all that does. Let's have a look at the first page. So instead of having a text box, we have this slider. These two options, which are uh, one or the other and a decimal places uh, slider for when you have a number displayed. Now you can set a number with the slider here like this as you can see that number is changing over there um, but uh, this is not what this a gadget is normally used for but you could use it for this so you could set your number like that and use this wire and use that to wire something else. What you would normally use instead would be a value slider. But this will do exactly the same as a value slider. Um, and that, that's that's the same, basically the same thing. Um, but most of the time, if I just shut that down, most of the time uh, you'll see that there is a single input socket for our number displayer. And this is where you wire your whatever is sending a signal, whatever is sending a number to our number displayer. And that is generally a dynamic number that changes throughout the game. So it's going to be displaying different numbers depending on what is being sent. Uh, so let's send it a signal so we can see it in action. I'm going to set this to ten. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we've got a signal generator that's going to send every second, it's going to send a number of 0 to 10. And there's the wave there, 0 to 10. And we'll open up the number displayer and we'll wire the signal into there. Turn it on with a press of the R3 button. And there we go, 0 to 10. That's what it's doing, it's sending a signal. 0 to 10 into the number display. Okay, so far so good. No problem. This is exactly what we're expecting. Now, um, this is sending more than just a, a whole number. This is going, it's only showing you whole numbers, but if I was to move this across, you can see it's sending you all the decimal places as well. That's one digit, that's two past, and that's three. 
and that's the most you can uh, show uh, is three decimal places but you'll notice that this up here I'll just stop it this up here is only showing you one decimal place so the number that uh, is being displayed here may not necessarily match the number that is here so if I move this number along here let me just unwire it uh, 13.8 if I had that set at 0 you're going to get a 14 so um, it's not necessarily going to show you the same number let me put in a three digit number in here 13.258 it's rounded it up. But if I show what it's actually sending out, 13.258 is what I typed into here, even though I can't see it. Now, I think Media Molecule needs to change this particular gadget so that it shows the same number as to the decimal places shown on here, so that this number matches this number. I think it would save a lot of um, confusion. I think it's best if that and that are the same. But at the moment, they're not. This is rounded up um, to one decimal place. So you need to be aware of that. Um, this number, when you send that out, is also this number. It's not this number. So uh, be very wary. So if you wanted to use this number, um, you've got to make sure that that goes to something that actually takes away some of the decimal places and rounds it up. Um, so be, be, be very um, watchful of how you're displaying your numbers because you it can make a huge difference because you go from 13.258 to 13.26 to 13.3 to 13 and there is a big difference between 13 and 13.258 in a display and for mathematical reasons so um watch for that make sure you get the right decimal uh, display for what you need um, the other display option is time. Uh, so if I put my um, range up quite high um, and then wire it up, let me, let me just do that. And you can see that it's reacting to those numbers as if they were seconds and so once it gets over 60 it will put a one and two little dots and then two then three then four multiples of 60 and it'll do that for the hours as well once you get past that sort of number okay uh, and you can also choose to show uh, milliseconds as well so you've got the full the full stopwatch that obviously doesn't work unless you have the timer on and the decimal places only work if you have the number on now um let's put this back to 10. um i want to show you something that uh, you might not be aware of the number displayer also has some calculating functions this uh, number range can change the number that is being sent uh, it can it can manipulate it uh, to, to divide and multiply so at the moment if i send this signal let's go back to the single numbers you're going back zero to ten okay let's un unwire and we'll move this to be not 0.5 so this is half then we'll wire it and see what it does now it's taking the same amount of time to go through this but instead of displaying 0 to 10 it's now displaying 0 to 5 it's basically halving the number it's being sent and, and sending that if I multiply it that's okay let's pick seven this is now showing zero to 70 in the ta same time period so this is multiplying a number or dividing a number depending on whether it's a, a fraction or a, a, a full number 
So this is quite useful if you if you've got a number and you uh, want to display it um, and but you want to multiply or divide it, um, you don't need to put a calculator gadget between your signal and your number display. You can do it all in here, which is quite handy. Um, but um, uh, otherwise, uh, be wary of moving this around. Now, another thing you need to uh, be aware of. So if you put in zero or you put in one, you're going to get the number that is being sent. Um, but let's wire that up. Zero to ten. Right, let's stop it. Let's move that to 0 0.5 like we did before. You notice I'm, I'm still wired up. I'm just going to send it to 0 0.5. Okay, there we go. Do you see? It's not working. Now, I don't know if this is intentional or a bug, but it's very important. Do not wire, then change the number. Always change the number, then wire. Otherwise, it won't work or you'll get a weird number that you're not expecting. Uh, so if you get a weird calculation that, that you don't expect, it might be because you tried to change it while it was wired up. Don't do that. Unwire it, change it, then wire it. So there we go. There is our number displayer. And um, it's also a very good and useful, not just for displaying numbers and, and calculating numbers, etc. It's also very good as a debugging tool. So let's say I have a trigger zone. Let's just pop our trigger zone down. And I'm going to put my black puppet in. We're going to wire the detected from our trigger zone into our display format. Now, I don't know where the trigger zone is. It could be anywhere. I've completely lost it. Where is it? Oh, there we go. I'm standing in it now. It's changed the number display to a one. So it's really good for seeing whether or not a signal is actually being sent. You wire it up to the gadget that you uh, want to know whether what signal it is sending and pop in a number displayer and you can immediately see if it's actually doing what you expect it to do. If, if I was wandering around here and I wasn't getting any ones at all, you'd have to assume that the, the trigger zone wasn't working. So if I was... I'd accidentally powered it off, for example. Um, I'm not going to get a signal. And that would tell me immediately, there's something wrong here. It's, you're not getting the one signal you're expecting. So you can check out the gadget and see what's going on. So it's really good for debugging purposes. Because um, all gadgets, all gadgets send signals. They send signals to say they're displaying. They send signals to say they are on. They send signals to say they are off. They send signals um, when they've detected something, um, when they've not detected something. It's, it's, it's the one zero Boolean is a really useful number for um, detecting whether or not sing signals are being sent or not. And there's various options you can wire these things to and wire them directly into your uh, a number displayer so you can see immediately um, turn the power on okay zone size 35 is what that's sending <laughs> there we go there's a number it doesn't 66 is 3.8 it's interesting isn't it 1.3 is 23 0.1 is 2, 3, 5, 7. Do you see the mathematical formulas going on here? And these are the numbers that it's sending out. Uh, so you can use this information to know all sorts of things about your gadgets. Just wire them directly into an number displayer, and it's really good for debug purposes. So there we go. There's the number displayer, my, one of my favorite gadgets. It's one I understand. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful and I'll catch you in your dreams.